Hello there, and thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim, off camera, or except for my hands, and welcome to Digital Llama, a channel all about Magic the Gathering and other CCGs, uh, specifically old school, um, quite long gone CCGs. So today we have got an absolute treat. We have got an entire booster box of Star Trek, the next generation customizable card game. So we've got 36 I believe of the 15 card expansion sets as they called them back in the day booster packs as we know them now and this is from the unlimited release I believe there's no way of really telling except oh it does say white border edition on here so yeah this is the unlimited the cipher who were one of the early CCG creators alongside Wizards of the Coast. This cipher sadly didn't make it. Wizards of the Coast, as we all know, have made it. Um, but they made a few um, CCGs based on sort of film and media um, licenses. So Star Trek they made. They also made a Star Wars CCG and later went on to Lord of the Rings and then made their own sort of card game based on their own world called Wars and used a lot of what was in Star Wars, possibly Star Trek. So I never actually played this when I was younger. Uh, back in 95, I was 11 and just leaving primary school and starting secondary school. No idea how that equates in America, whether that means starting high school, possibly. Who knows? But yeah, I never played this. And this was just on a whim. I was looking for Star Wars cards and found this on eBay for 30 quid, which um, I just couldn't refuse. So let's get this off. The shrink wrap's fairly baggy anyway. So I'm hoping that this is a genuine sealed box. I haven't opened this up as of yet. We've got a little bit of damage going on on the corner. Hopefully that won't have affected what's inside too badly. Right, let's get this set up nicely. So we've got a little box display there at the top so there's there are tons of boosters in here it's crazy so we're just gonna have fun flicking through these we'll go slowly at first um so yeah 15 cards in each pack hopefully they open quite well i'm gonna have trouble with this aren't i i always have trouble opening booster packs for some reason i just can't do it Okay, there we go. Right, we're in. Let's just tear it open. Okay, so I've got no idea what order these are in, so which ones are rare, etc. Hopefully we'll see a named character and that will give us some clue as to what's going on in here. So, lots and lots of screen grabs from the uh, Next Generation series. We've got a Scout Vessel, Torin. We've got one of the Klingon Birds of Prey. Darian Wallace there, we've got missions. So um, these cards are missions. And if you do what the mission says, then you get 20 points, I believe. And the po the point of the game is to, is to win points uh, to win. Or you could drain your uh, opponent's deck, just like in the Star Wars game, uh, your deck was your life force. There wasn't an actual separate life total. You just went for it and tried to deplete your opponent of their deck um alien abduction that's pretty cool so there were vessels in here uh the ships there were characters there were events and places repair mission so some of it i don't know if that's an actual screen grab or if that's just art that someone's made for it this is a pretty mission heavy pack isn't it oh we get a shuttle we get just Federation, it's called. So Earth is a member of the United Federation of Planets. Federation establishes outpost. Oh, so it's an outpost. Okay. Uh, character there. Yeah, so I have got no idea what of these are rares and <laughs> what aren't. I probably should have investigated that first as to what order the packs are in. I just got a little bit giddy, to be honest, because... This was something that uh, me back in 1995 could have probably only dreamt of doing. Um, never ever happened being able to open Decipher card games in this quantity. So we've got McKnight, we've got a Romulan pad with two Ds. 
Got some events, more dilemmas. USS Nebula. Nebula. So that... Oh, and an Excelsior. We got two USS class. Um, Nebula class and an Excelsior class. Starships. That is fantastic. I was just about to say that we figured it out. And there is the fourth one from the back. But it might be the third one from the back, depending which of these is rarer. So that's pretty cool. I'm quite liking that. So we can leave those out. And we've got a Ferengi. Uh, Dr. Farrick. And Christopher Hobson at the back. Cool, so we've got some spaceships. I don't know if this is like the Star Wars CCG and its main characters or bust possibly with the rares. So who knows, we might get lucky, get a Jean-Luc. We might even get an Enterprise. Uh, we can but dream. So I'm going to try and hurry this up a bit now uh, to try and blast through this as much as possible. Uh, yuck. Um... Cool, so another scout vessel. I think we saw one of those earlier. And towel. Uh, we've got a runabout. So yeah, runabout might be the rare in here, possibly. Or it might be towel. Who knows? And then a couple of vents and things at the back here. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I'd love to know, whilst I'm struggling with this pack, uh, what your earliest CCG memories were. Um, are you strictly uh, coming to this video from Magic, or have you dabbled in any of the old ones as well? Um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to hear what you were into. And there's a few other ones that I really want to uh, pick up again. I used to have some Doctor Who CCG, and I completely passed by the Harry Potter CCG, but I want to give that a try as well. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on in there. Um, we've got possibly a Klingon Disruptor. That might be the rare. Uh, it might be Jera. It's definitely going to be one of those two. We'll see. This definitely feels like there's way more than, than 36 packs in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, it could be right. There's a little bit of possible water damage there where they've stuck together. Cool. Got that one opened. No probs. Uh, so we've got Eric Pressman. He looks a little bit like Locke from Lost. We've got, I've seen that one before, um, just in the last pack, Tibok. Um, some strange artifacts, uh, Klingon who I can't pronounce, Thay, uh, Wormhole, uh, Galathon, Romulan Disruptor. We've got Plasma Fire, uh, Females Love Interest. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got Subspace Interference. Disruptor Overload, we've got a Palteth and a Toll again. Cool. Let's keep the pace going, otherwise this is going to be a crazy long video for you guys. And I know attention spans are down, so I'm very mindful of that. Let's just open all you. Let's do that. Let's just maul them. Okay, so we've got an event, we've got a Transwarp Conduit, Amanda Rogers, a VIP card, uh, Loaxana Troy, a Romulan Pad, Pattern Enhancers, we've got an Archer, and uh, Jajan, Taras, we've got another USS Nebula, and an Excelsior, that is so bizarre. But they're in different slots, and then we've got another Dr. Farrakh. So that was almost exactly the same as the last pack that we got. So goodness knows what is going on here. Uh, Christopher Hobson and an engineering kit. So that is really weird. That is spooky. Is that is that common? If someone who is in the know about this uh, could let me know whether that kind of thing was, was a regular occurrence with the Star Trek CCG that their um, pack uh, randomizer didn't always work oh my goodness those of you that will have ever seen my uh magic gathering 
unboxings will know this isn't uh, just an issue with these boosters. I just generally have an issue with boosters. Um, and Marie, we've got Croesus. So we've got a little bit of Borg uh, influence coming in here. Uh, we've got a treaty card. We've got a few characters. We've got a shuttlecraft again. We've got a dilemma. We've got an escape pod. Red alert. I just, funnily enough, watched the uh, Red Dwarf um, episode where they go to Blue Alert and Rimmer makes a big deal about going to Blue Alert and then wants them to upgrade to go to Red Alert and Crichton says, but are you sure? And that does mean changing the bulb, uh, which is a classic moment. I absolutely love that. Uh, so I used to be definitely into, into Star Wars definitely into Red Dwarf, not so much into Star Trek. It's only in my later years now, later years, that I've got into Star Trek. Um, back in the day, I enjoyed watching Voyager. I thought that was really good. And I liked Enterprise when that came on. Ooh, that is a really nice looking card. Um, but yeah, uh, Next Generation sort of passed me by. I sort of watched it every now and then on a quiet Saturday. Oh, blimey. She looks a bit like the granny out of... Um, Spirited Away, uh, the one that turns into the crow. Uh, we've got Tariq, we've got Phaser, and we've got another McKnight. There really doesn't seem to be any kind of order to this. Um, so yeah, um, Star Trek was never particularly my main my main source of sci-fi goodness growing up. Uh, only in recent years, we just finished watching uh, the first season of Discovery. And that was uh, really, really good. Enjoyed that a lot. Um, so another repair mission, another test mission, another investigating anomaly. I think we just saw those three in that succession. And another Duda and Federation again. Got Gorta. Uh, Romulan Outpost. And Linda Larson. So this is going to be quite interesting to see uh, exactly how much of the set you get from uh, one booster pack and how much duplication there has been in this because the randomization seems to be way off to what I'm used to with magic. Uh, so offset, Sita Jaxa, uh, we've got some other bits, we've got another bird of prey or is it a warbird? Uh, Romulan Warbird, sorry. Get my Klingons and my Romulans mixed up there. Uh, Science Vessel, just a generic one. We've got Talus. We've got a Federation Pad. Uh, Res Q. Cool. Uh, Rogue Borg Mercenaries. And there were lots and lots of expansions for this game. Like loads of them. And the Borg were properly introduced later on as, a, as an actual race um, that you could play. Um, so I believe that up here with the yeah the the symbols of the of the factions that you could then um, create decks out of. So we've got another Ferengi. We've got Diana Troy. Okay, so maybe it's the three uncommons, then a rare, because you can you would imagine that Diana Troy would be a rare. So maybe I've had this all wrong, and these are just commons, common um, starships anyway. Who knows? We'll put that down. Keep flicking through. We've got another... Yeah, that is bizarre. And then Dr. Farrick as well. Yeah, the three of them always together. So they cannot be rare. Absolutely. So it looks like we've got the three uncommons at the start of the pack. And followed by the rare and then a load of commons after that. The packs are starting to flake as well. I don't know if you can make that out on my on my finger, but yeah, getting lots of glitter and stuff off of packs. So if our newfound knowledge is right, so we've got an uncommon, 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 and then we've got Mendak as a rare. And then we've got our piles of commons. We've got another starship there which is quite cool. That's one of the main things I like about sci-fi, are the ships. Males love interest. So we've had a female's love interest. Now we've got a male love interest. Interesting stuff. And we've got a Klingon outpost as well. 
Right, this video is crazy long. If you've bored with me this long, then I'm really, really appreciating you watching for uh, this length of time. Uh, matriarchal society, that's quite interesting. Uh, diplomacy mission, we've got a Husnock ship, cool. And rare is a dilemma. Uh, Tolsiovsky infection, excuse my pronunciation. Load of other random stuff. We got a uh, USS Miranda. Haven't seen that one before. Uh, Torric. We got another McKnight. Loads of McKnights. Come on. Okay, so just shredded this pack. We've got a Dilemma, Radioactive Garbage Scow, interesting. Uh, strategic Diversion, Alexander uh, Rosenko. Uh, so three quarters Klingon, one quarter human male. Cool. And then we've got an Investigative Ray as a rare. Always a little bit disappointing when you didn't get ships or characters in Star Trek and Star Wars, I guess. Uh, Obereth we've already pulled out. Loads and loads of those. Another male's love interest. So yeah, loads of missions in that pack. Yeah, it's always a bit of a bummer getting um, getting sort of locations because they were typically the cards that you did not need very many of when you were build deck building. So to get duplicates of those was, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. It's not like in Magic where getting lands uh, was, hey, he's from Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the Baz Luhrmann film. He's um, Juliet's father, I think. That's crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, so we've got Lursa as our rare here. Uh, so let's pop her down there next to Diana. Diana. Uh, have a flick through for random other stuff. So we're getting a huge amount of duplicates now. Uh, this is crazy. Right, I'm just going to start <laughs> hopefully missing the cards and just let's just do that. <laughs> Super lazy, but it'll get us through it. So we got a dilemma, dilemma, uh, mission, supply mission, and we got Baetor. Uh, so we got quite a busty Klingon there. So that can go into our rare pile. So we got a couple of rare Klingons there. I'll have to go back through all of that stuff. We got a runabout. It's not a named USS ship, so we're not going to keep that out separately. That's looking a bit precarious. Might have to start another pile. Let's go. In there with the lazy scissor method. Uh, so we've got an Exocomp. Haven't seen one of those before. Uh, Miroc. And we've got a Kargan. So we've got yet another Klingon uh, character. So we can pop that down there. Uh, we've got the Klingon Outpost, Cedar Jack, so we've seen. Where's Q? Yeah, so we're getting a lot of repeats now, uh, which is to be expected. How many cards are in this set? 360 cards in total in the set. I wonder if we'll have got one of every common by the end of this uh, box cracking, or if there'll still be some to get. So, no space. We've got uh, Mott the Barber. Uh, Tokath, and we got a planet um, mission, blah blah blah. Cool. Uh, USS Miranda, we've got one of those down there. So, yeah, let's just plonk all of that there. So, we're getting through. Let's just pull these out so that you can see how many packs are left. I'm doing my best to work through them as fast as I can. We're nearly up to 20 minutes of video, so thank you very much for bearing with. I've just given up now in terms of uh, pile maintenance and, and keeping things tidy. Uh, plague ship, we've got Tapan, cool. And then we've got Worf, awesome. So we've got definitely um, a few of the main characters, Deanne Troy, we've got Worf, loving this. So let's pop him down there. We've got a space dock. That's pretty rad. Always love the space stations, Deep Space Nine, that kind of thing. Load of characters, etc. Ship seizure. Females love interest. 
Fair enough. So this is probably sacrilegious going at them with pairs of scissors like that. Saurine, um, the tasty fruit loaf. Alien probe, Toby Russell, and we've got another mission as our as our rare. Uh, Oberth we've seen, impassable door, male love interest, another planet thingy. Let's, let's see if we can go back to tearing. There we go. Okay, so we've got a firestorm. Uh, par deck, we've got a nanites dilemma, and we've got a Pegasus search uh, for our mission slash location. So, oh, we've got some dirt on those. Got some random other bits and pieces. Oh, freaky! Uh, that reminds me of. So keep these keep reminding me of other things. If any of you saw Fringe, uh, where they were able to sort of excite the particles of the vault wall and move through it, and then the machine packed in and one of them got half trapped in the wall. Got USS Galaxy as well. Sweet. Um, so yeah, Fringe was a, another amazing series. Uh, me and my wife loved watching. Uh, Baran. We've got an evacuation. Etana Joel. And we've got a Seek Life Form mission. Nothing exciting in this pack then. Cool. So I think I just need to be a bit more vigorous with them, which is something I'm not always too keen to do. I don't like the thought of damaging cards before they've even come out of the packs. So we've got a USS Sutherland. Haven't seen that one yet. Awesome. We've got a Gravitic Mine and we've got an Alien Groupie. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we've got a Clag. All kinds of... Other uh, bits got a couple of Klingon ships next to each other. Cool. Okay, we're nearly onto the home straight in terms of packs. So I should learn to pace myself a lot better. Cut down on the waffle at the beginning so that we can spread the waffle out throughout the thing. Lots of characters in this one, and we got Tasha Yar as our rare. Not a hundred percent familiar. Uh, with this character, but there we go. So, yeah, Federation rare. Uh, Hyper aging. We've got hologram ruse. <laughs> Q2, fair play. And we've got another location there. We've got uh, unnamed shuttlecraft. Uh, Callaway, cool. And uh, USS Miranda. Right, final stack. Okay, Portal Guard. Uh, Fleet Admiral Shanthi. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Movar. And we've got Dr. LaForge. Fair play. Yeah, so got another Federation uh, rare character. Cool, put those on the stack. So what have we got? We've got another eight chances of uh, getting an Enterprise or uh, Picard, anything like that. Hannah Bates, Distortion Field, and we've got a Dilemma, uh, Temporal Causality Loop. Cool, uh, random other things in there. This is gonna be my afternoon sorted now, putting these into order, ready to go into a uh, collector's binder. I uh, might need to make myself a spreadsheet as well. Love a good spreadsheet. Um, okay, so that's those. And then we got an honor challenge as an interrupt as our rare. Got another bird of prey. Uh, another Romulan outpost. Uh, USS Galaxy, I think we'd separated out one of those. Don't know why I'm separating them out, to be honest. They're all going to end up in the same binder. So we've got an incoming message from the Romulans. We've got an incoming message from the Klingons. Another incoming message from the Federation. Uh, we've got Neela Darren, uh, science officer. 
So I'll pop her down there. Uh, uh, I thought we were going to get even more incoming messages. Oh, well, we've got the Nebula, the Excelsior, and then it's going to be the Ferengi dude. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, the, there's definitely something wrong with their uh, pack collations here. We've got, if anyone wants any um, of the Dr. Ferengis or the USSs uh, that I'm pulling lots of, um, give me a DM on one of my social medias. <laughs> Even more Ferengis. Um, that's not a Ferengi. And then we've got an Investigate Disturbance again. USS Miranda. Loads of other stuff. Okay. Uh, Chanloth. We've got a Subspace Schism. A Morag. And another mission as a rare in here. Simon Tarsis again, uh, Mendon, Tarek, and another McKnight. Okay, looks like the booster opening um, has improved drastically. Uh, raise the stakes, we've got a Chorus, and we've got a Dr. Leah Brahms, cool. And we've got Linda Larson in here as well, and a load of other random stuff. We've got another Callaway at the back. Cool. So we've definitely got a lot of lot of um, lot of the ladies uh, being opened in here, um, which is pretty interesting that we're getting a lot more um, lady spread. It's something that Star Trek always always sort of did quite well, I think, was um, yeah, sort of anti sexism, as it were. I mean, there's always going to be going to be various sort of things like the original series, obviously Kirk, but yeah, just my general feeling of of the next generation and and forwards. There was always quite um, a lot more representation than you'd see in in other other shows, um, which is something that I I really like about Star Star Trek. My hands are absolutely covered in. Um, Booster pack glitter. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. It's crazy. Right, so penultimate pack. Couple of interrupts and an event. And then we've got an artifact. Okay. That just looks like one of those sort of CGI generated things that they occasionally do for games like this. The Doctor Who game had so much sort of 90s CGI um, for some of its card art. It was crazy. Final pack then, are we going to finish on a win? No, we finished with another artifact, a Varon T Disruptor. Wah, wah. Oh well, so that was 36, I believe, booster packs of Star Trek. The Next Generation CCG by Decipher being cracked. I can't say that I'm going to be buying Star Trek TCG um CCG, TNG, CCG regularly, but who knows, there might be more of this up on the channel at some point. Um, it certainly seems like a fun game. The art's nice and crisp, sort of the screen grabs from the from the show. It would be interesting. They did various sets like First Contact and um, Trouble with Tribbles, where they introduced the uh, original cast and they did an entire Voyager set as well. So it'd be really interesting to go back and look at those. Maybe have a bit of a walkthrough. One, one pack from each of the sets would be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you've made it all the way through to the end here, pat yourself on the back. Well done. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the watch time. And I'll catch you all soon in the future, near future not the distant future like Star Trek, <laughs> um, for some more old school CCGs, possibly some magic and some general shenanigans. Cheers, guys. Take it easy. Bye.